Irving police say a 17 year old high school junior has confessed he murdered a 16 year old girlfriend. The two had recently broken up and got into an argument yesterday afternoon. Fox Force Calvert Collins is in our Dallas newsroom with more Calvert. And Steve, this murder has surprised even seasoned police officers. Court documents show this started as an argument and escalated. The two had been in a relationship for about a year and broke up two weeks ago. Now Jacob Boyd is missing the last days of his junior year, sitting in an Irving jail cell with a $1 million bond. When most students arrived at Nimitz High School for class this morning, they expected to see Jacob Boyd and Rachel Wiest among them. But by the time the last bell rang, most knew the pair would not be returning. I heard that she was really cool and like everybody liked her, so that's sad. In this converted garage bedroom one mile from the high school, police say 17-year-old Boyd met 16-year-old Wiest to talk Monday afternoon. The home belongs to a mutual friend who was inside the main house. According to the arrest warrant affidavit, the two started arguing, and when Wiest tried to leave, Boyd threw her phone on the ground, breaking it. When she bent over to pick up the phone, he approached her from behind and placed her in a chokehold. He then took her to the ground and held her for five to ten minutes. She lay unconscious until the homeowner called 911 and performed CPR. Police say she died several hours later. It felt really depressing, like the atmosphere and everything. Officers say Boyd stayed at the scene, even admitting to the crime. He did make a, an unsolicited statement, basically, uh, that he had choked her following an argument. Nothing. She when a former neighbor of Boyd's heard the news, she couldn't believe it. He was really nice. He was a sweetheart. I let my kids play with them. I spoke to Rachel Wiest's family, who did not want to do an interview, but said in a statement, it is still in shock and disbelief at losing such a beautiful young life. We are all shocked. We are all saddened. We are all heartbroken. Well, grief counselors were at Nimitz High School all day today, and I'm told will stay as long as needed. Jacob Boyd's family had no comment on his arrest. As for any funeral plans for Rachel Wiest, they have not been confirmed yet. I'm told an autopsy will be performed later this week, Steve. Okay, Calvert, you, you said in your story the, the mother of the friend called 911. So were either of those two witnesses to what to what happened yesterday? We asked that police say no. Uh, the homeowner and her son, who was that mutual friend, were inside the main house. They were not in that garage bedroom, but Jacob Boyd had them call 911 once Rachel Wiest was unconscious. That's all according to police. Okay, Calvert Collins in our Dallas newsroom. Thanks.